Hey guys, it's Arika Misha and today we are cooking some apple pie fritters. Yep, apple pie fritters. Little mini apple pies, guys. I love myself a good apple pie. But sometimes they have too many apples in the pie. I don't like that, but today we're gonna make them how we wanna make them. Put as many apples as we want in them. So, y'all see, I got my Publix pie crust. Y'all know I love Publix, y'all. Um, Cause I'm a couponer. Hello, I'm a couponer. Y'all see, I go to Publix a lot because I'm a couponer. I coupon at Publix. Uh, you can coupon at Walmart. Um, all these don't do couponing. Uh, you can coupon at Walmart, Publix. Um, yeah. All these don't do uh, couponing. But anyway, um, that's why y'all see me Publix, Publix, Publix. I am a true couponer. Y'all look at some of them Publix couponing channels uh, and y'all see. Okay. Anyway. All right. So, pie crust. I've got two ready-to-bake pie crusts. A uh, pack of two. I think this is only like two dollars. Two dollars and some change. Not expensive at all. And then I got some sweet apple slices. I already got a pre-sliced apples. Y'all. Y'all know I'm getting you in and out of the kitchen. Your girl always finding shortcuts to get in and out of the kitchen. So, because I ain't got all day. That's why. You asking why? Because I ain't got all day. But anyway, y'all, let's see how I do it. So, pie crust and apple slices. Easy. You can do whole apples. However you want to do your apples. And you got to peel them and do all that. That's on you. Ain't got time for that. So, y'all know I show y'all the easy way. Ooh, that look. Ooh, y'all look at a little cherry pie. That look good on there. Them little cherry pies look good. We ain't doing that today. And I got my sugar, brown pepper, one egg, and salt over here. Y'all will see how, how this go down. So, as I add the ingredients. So, um, all right. Let's get into it, y'all. Make a little mini apple fritters. Let go. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our apples and our glaze together. So, duh, let me cut the stove on. I've got my oven preheated to 400 degrees already. Preheated to 400 degrees already. My stove is already preheated. I'm going to put this on a medium high heat. My stove does the whole one through eight, low, medium, high kind of thing. So, I'm going to go ahead and put it on a medium high heat. Probably put it on six child. Anyway, let's get two tablespoons of butter. One tablespoon. Two tablespoons of butter. Alright, got our two tablespoons of le butter. Put my butter back in my refrigerator. Alright, you all. Okay. I got two tablespoons of butter in there. Let's get this going and get this melted. I definitely want to make this the main part of the video so you guys can see how I fix the filling. I mean, just a simple, basic apple pie ingredients. I mean, your apples, a little cinnamon, a little sugar, a little salt, you know. Just the basic ingredients for an apple pie filling. And a little butter, of course. Melt your butter. All right, now I want my butter to melt, and I'm gonna melt this butter down until it gets a little, you know, turns a little brown. That's where we get that little browning color from with the apple pie. So let's get it melted down, medium high heat. That should do what we want it to do, and we want to make. Our goal is to make our apples nice and soft. You know, so when you bite into them, they're nice and mushy. I'm just saying, that's what I like. The mushy, soft apples. Still with a little, not too much crunch. I don't want them too hard. You know what I mean? Like, in between. Nice and soft, but still a little crunch. I don't want soggy apples. So, I'll go ahead and get this butter brown. Let this butter go ahead and brown itself. Once again, that's two tablespoons of butter. That's all you need, child. Two tablespoons of butter. While that butter is getting hot, let me show you guys my apple slices. All I did with the apple slices, of course, I peeled the apple uh, part off, the back part, you know, the peel, whatever. And then I just sliced my apples into little small chunks. Yes, I ate some of the apple chunks. Yes, I did. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, y'all. All right. So, we got our... Um, 
butter brownie and let me tell y'all what i'll be adding of course i'll probably i'm not sure if i'll forget to tell y'all what i'm gonna be adding i'm letting my butter brown i'm gonna put um my apple slices in here once my butter browns um like i said over medium heat i'm gonna add my apples i'm gonna add one fourth salt one fourth cup of white sugar two tablespoons of brown sugar um, and then when, I, when my apples get all nice and soft, I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. You know, I'm going to get my apples all soft, mix that all up, and then I'm going to add two teaspoons of water. Okay, y'all will see as I go. I just wanted to make sure I told y'all that because I know I'm just going to be putting this stuff in here and I may forget to tell y'all the measurements. So, once again, I'm going to repeat that real quick. I'm throwing in my apple slices. Uh, after I melt my two tablespoons of butter, I'm going to let that butter get a little brown to it. Um, add my apples, one fourth, uh, I'm sorry y'all, one fourth teaspoon, that's one fourth teaspoon of salt, uh, one fourth cup of white sugar, two tablespoons of brown sugar, um, and then I'll be adding one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, two teaspoons of water. Okay, let's go. Cause I know me, I'll just be adding this stuff and I may forget to tell y'all. I may forget to tell y'all the measurement. I get the talking and stuff too. Y'all already know. I get the talking. I'm just going to be throwing the stuff in here. But like I said, I want to make this the main part of the video. Showing y'all how I do the filling. It's quick and easy, y'all. Quick and easy. I need my butter to get a little browner. It ain't quite got that brown that I want it to have yet. No mm, butter. Alright, got a butter getting brown. Okay, let me get my sugar clothes over here. I got everything ready over here. My sugar, my salt, I got everything ready. And also, guys, for the egg wash, in case I forget to tell y'all, the egg wash. That's one egg. And let me see what I normally add. I think I put a little bit of milk in it sometimes. Sometimes I put milk in it, sometimes I don't. Let me see. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to do, um, to my egg wash, I'm going to do one egg and two teaspoons of milk. Yeah, yeah, one egg and two teaspoons of milk. I usually add one or two, but today I'm going to do one full egg and two teaspoons of milk for my egg wash. Okay, so I forget to tell y'all that. Come on, butter. Just trying to get there. All right, butter. All right, it's starting to get that brown that I need. Okay. Okay, that's brown enough. That's good. All right, let's add our apple slices. Add our apple slices. Get them all sauteed up. Try for like I'm sauteing apples. All right. Get them apples all mixed up in there. Looking good. Ooh, them apple smell so sweet. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay. Got our apples in there. I'm gonna cut my heat down a little bit. Cut them at the uh the apples doing a little too much. We're gonna cut that down. We ain't trying to fry these apples. Uh-uh. So I'm cutting my heat down a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and add my stuff, add in my salt, okay, my salt, add in my sugar, alright, add in my two, Tablespoons of brown sugar. Right. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get this mixed in. Mmm, 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 y'all. Don't that look good, y'all? Don't that look like a nice apple pie filling? Looks 
delicious. Got to get it all mixed up. Okay. Remember, our goal is we want the apples to get nice and soft, but still have a little crunch to them. Not too crunchy. I do like soft apples, so I'm going to go ahead and make these so. Okay. Make sure these apples, let me see. Let me get one and see how I see. Mmm. Ooh, that tastes like an apple pie right there. Ooh, it tastes so good. Oh my God, that is good. But those apples do need to get a little soft. They still too crunchy. We no crunchy apple pie now. Okay, so. All right. Go ahead and let them look. Do a little, little bit activity in the juice. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add my one and a half teaspoon of cinnamon. Can y'all see that? Ooh, that's so beautiful. All right, so. One and a half teaspoon of cinnamon. So I've got my one and this is the half teaspoon. So let's go ahead and add this one teaspoon. One teaspoon and a half. Okay, and a half. All right. Move all these spoon stuff out of our way. All right, let me get my top back on my cinnamon over here. All right, my salt, brown sugar. Okay. Get my hands washed real quick. All right, okay. Let's get our cinnamon mixed up in here. Okay. Okay, come through, cinnamon, come through. Like some apple pie, apple pie filling. Mmm, mm, them apples, I can feel them, they starting to soften up. Okay, now come on, make sure you get your apples all coated real good. Mmm, 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 mmm. All right, y'all, our apples are nice and soft. I'm gonna let some of the liquid cook out a little bit but that's it for our filling and i'll be back to show y'all how we're gonna uh, make our little apple fritters out of the pie crust and how i'm gonna fill them okay guys i'm back i just wanted to come and show you guys real quick i'm not gonna show you me doing all of them uh, but i just want to come and show you guys what i'm doing i have my uh, pie crust as you can see it is two in the pack you want them to be room temperature so i have my pie crust i have it rolled out Hey y'all, this is my um, blender from my uh, smoothie blender thing over there. That's what I'm using. Because this is the shape I want and this is the size that I want. Use whatever size you want, y'all. But this is the size I want to use. So, of course, I'm just going to use it to cut out my little circles. I just wanted to come and show y'all what I'm doing. So y'all won't be like, oh girl, how you got them perfect circles? This is how I got them. I'm just putting my cup down, twisting around so I can get my little circles. Easy peasy. Nothing complicated. You see, you get your little perfect little circles. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect little circles. Perfect little circles, y'all. Perfect. All right, for my little fritz. I just wanted to come and show y'all how I was getting these circles. Don't, don't be fool. Word of the day. Don't be no fool. Word of the day, honey. Don't let them make a fool out of you. Don't let nobody make a fool out of you. God does not want us to be foolish. Mm-mm. Let nobody use you, make a fool out of you. Because they will try. They will try, honey. And look at that. These are so cute, y'all, and perfect. I'm gonna come back and show y'all how I'm fixing the fritters, you know. But I just wanted to come and show y'all real quick how I'm making these little circles. 
That's it. And I just twist my top down like that. Bam, bam, bam. Perfect little fritters. Perfect little fritters. Okay, come on off now. Don't be trying to mess up my little circle now, y'all. Go on on. Perfect little fritters. Okay. And then, of course, y'all know I'm going to put this all together. And, you know, and flatten it out. And just, you know, use it to make more. So, that's how I'm going to do that. Let me get my other. Uh, so, y'all see how I did my little, um, my little circles. Y'all saw how I got those. Okay. So, I'm going to move on. I'm going to do the second pack and get it all done and all finished up. And then, I'll be back to show y'all how I'm going to fill these. Okay, guys. I'm back. Just wanted to come and show you real quick how I'm making the little apple pie fritters. I've already started on my first one. Let me show y'all. Give y'all a little cute little close-up of it. Them apple juices are already coming out. Okay, so got my little apple pie, my pie crust here. Got my little small ice cream scoop. Y'all know I'm always using this for everything. And I'm just putting a little bit, a little bit of uh, apple pie filling in there. Just a little bit, not too much. Because these are, these are little, these are going to be little mini apple pie fritters. And I'm just taking my top like this. Folding it over. Just folding it over like that. Like a little, like a little soft taco. And then I'm just taking my fork. And sealing those sides down. That's all I'm doing. I'm sealing those sides down. Just like that with my fork. Mashing down on the sides. Now, let me show y'all. What I'm also going to be doing. I'm going to take just a little sharp knife. And I'm just going to poke holes in the top. Put like two little holes across the top so that steam can release. So my little apple pies don't burst out, you know, and get apple juices everywhere. That's how we're going to do that. Like I said, I just wanted to come and show y'all. Just push down on the sides to seal it so nothing comes out. Just wanted to show y'all how I was going to be doing my little apple pie fritters. Got them side sealed down. You got your little cute little apple pie fritters. They're going to be cute, y'all, once I get them all done and all made up. Now, this is the part that takes a little time, but once you start flowing and getting them made, it'll be quick, quick and easy. I just wanted to come and show y'all how I was going to be making them. And remember, make sure y'all put that little hole across the top that helps release the steam and your little apple fritters don't burst everywhere. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get them all made up. Um, I've got my egg wash, which is one egg and two teaspoons of milk. That's my little egg wash there. I'm going to take that when I get them all made up and put across my pan. Got my little brush. I'm going to brush that across the top. And then I'm going to go ahead and throw them in the oven. So, when I come back, y'all, it's going to be the grand finale because I don't want this to be no 20-minute video. So, y'all get the gist of it. All right, I'll be back to show y'all the grand finale. All right, guys, it is the grand finale. I've already pulled our little mini apple pies, mini apple fritters, whatever, y'all. Y'all will see the name in the title, mini apple fritters. I already pulled them out, got them on my cooling off sheet. Take y'all in to see those little cute little fritters. They are so cute and delicious. Y'all know I already had one. Ain't none of y'all business. This is my food. I can eat it when I want to eat it. Yep, I have one already. Me and the kids. So, so what? Our food. Eat it when we want to eat it. All right, guys. You see me do it, so you know I did it. This is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media at Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, that knowledge, oh, yes, is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.